New details tonight about that prison break in Ohio. There are reports that Lima prison officials were warned about the escape by school shooter TJ Lane the day before it happened. Right now, Lane and the two inmates who made a run for it with him are on their way to the Ohio State Penitentiary. That's in Youngstown. Nine on your side is Jason Law on top of this story all day. He's live in Lima with the manhunt that ended in the trio's arrest. Jason. The Associated Press is reporting that prison officials here in Lima were warned about a possible escape as early as Wednesday. This was a nine hour manhunt that impacted everybody who lives here. Heather Lawson lives so close she can see the Allen Oakwood Correctional Institution from her backyard. Thursday night, she was alone and terrified. We had everything ready. <laughs> that was for sure, just in case. When she says she had everything ready, she means her pepper spray, a stun gun, and several firearms. The emergency alert to escape prisoners from. She used Facebook to keep up with the manhunt. Running. I couldn't sleep. I was pacing through the house until they got here. I had the scanner downloaded on my phone and just kind of listening for the helicopters. I didn't let the kids outside. I guess I never realized who was in the prison. I just kind of blocked that out. So now you think about it. Yes, definitely. As soon as Jerry Hayden heard about the prison break, he hustled back to his auto shop to make sure everything was okay. We got cars here and stuff, so you know that's a issue where you know they might try to break in to break in and use something to you know get away. Jerry also had good reason to worry. He's owned his shop for 22 years. Like Heather's house, Jerry's store is right across the street from the prison. It's something that's always kind of in the back of your mind, you know, where something like that's going to happen eventually. Friday morning, prison officials didn't have much to say when it came to how T.J. Lane, Clifford Opperud, and Lindsey Bruce were able to escape. That is under investigation right now, but obviously they did, you know, he did uh, scale the, our perimeter fence, and again, this is an ongoing investigation. We still don't know how exactly those three men were able to get over the wall and break out of the prison. We also don't know why two convicted killers were being held here at a min minimum to medium security facility. We are live tonight in Lima. Jason Law, not on your side.